is going on guys and once again welcome back to our Washington Capitals legend fantasy draft extravaganza GM mode here uh, I have a few things to go over before we hop into this episode so in the last episode we went ahead and we picked up Dan Boyle and some of you guys were thinking oh man you overpaid a little bit you probably could have got away with just the picks but I really wanted to get a veteran from presence out there there wasn't a whole lot of other options and uh, I just wanted to pull the trigger I may I may have overpaid a little little bit yes but regardless he is a Washington Capital as of today and that makes me happy so speaking on Dan Boyle what the hell was I doing putting him on the PK and taking PK Subban off his name is PK penalty kill he has to stay on the PK he's a PK master uh, that was I don't even know what I was doing I was honestly I wasn't even thinking right I don't know what I was doing so I'll talk about Dustin Bufflin here and I was talking about his point production and it's not even that bad um, he He's a defenseman. He's one of our better players. He's got 28 points in the 65 games. And I'm thinking, how can we boost this guy's point production? And in the real NHL, sometimes he plays forward, sometimes he plays defense. So what I'm going to do, put him on the power play, but I'm going to put him on the right wing. So he's going to be a big giant force there on uh, on the right wing, standing in front of the net on the power play. And we've got Kovalchuk, who has the nasty shooting category. He's going to man the point. So that's going to be really nice to see Kovalchuk and then have P.K. Subban there. I actually might bring up Zidlicki to play with Kovalchuk and then have Subban and Spurgeon. I kind of want to spread the wealth out a, a little bit. Actually, I'm going to keep P.K. there because that's just way too nice. And these guys are probably holding their own. Uh, that's uh, looking pretty good there. So we got one comment to go over here, and that is from Nathan. He kind of breaks down the math that was Valerie Nachuskin's trade. So before the trade on Columbus, he was averaging 0.66 points per game. And since coming over to Washington, he has an 8% point per game increase, which is awesome. So, Nachuskin, I'm a big fan of him. I think he's going to do great. Uh, we are currently, I think we're fourth in the Metro. Uh, where are we? Yeah, sorry, we're, num we're number three. So, that's even better than I thought. So, I want to go up. I don't want to go down here. We're really close to first place. We're a couple points out. Uh, we've got some big games coming up here against teams like New Jersey and uh, some more Eastern Conference opponents that we could definitely use those big points in. So, uh, let's just continue on with the simulation here. We had a pretty good end to the last episode. We were, I think, we were on a three or four game winning streak. Then we lost two, and then we actually ended off with a with a win. But I'm feeling pretty good here. Let's go push towards the playoffs for period zero zero period number two two to one. Brock Nelson, Chris Chelios, and Valerie Nachuskin again. This guy, man, he's a beast. Period number three three two. Jean Beliveau and Pajot there, but they do get the three two lead. They do get the three two victory there. We just couldn't muster up enough offense. But Nachuskin with his twenty first of the year this guy will not go away so going here on out I need to win every game against a metropolitan opponent that is Carolina Pittsburgh the Islanders the Rangers the Columbus Blue Jackets and the Philadelphia Flyers especially the New Jersey Devils so uh, the Western Conference points they're nice there I would obviously like to get as many points as we possibly can I don't want to be on the outside looking in because again the point totals they're super close in the Metro you win two games and you can be in first or second place so every single point in Carolina Counts there, 5-2 victory against the LA Kings, up against Adam Oates and the LA Kings, and Devin Dubnik shuts the door, baby, over a 3 to nothing shutout, so alright, getting these Western Conference points are nice, up against uh, Mike Bossy and Steve Eiserman. Bossy has 40 goals, Eiserman 52 helpers was that a victory? I didn't even see it that went by so fast, uh, that was a 2 nothing loss, so that definitely was not a victory but Carolina is either ahead of us or right behind us in the point department, they have a pretty identical record. These are huge points. Yeah, they're first place, and we have 81, so this would be absolutely huge to beat Carolina. Come on, guys, let's go. First period, 2-1. to one. Okay, Merrick Zulicki, and then James Neal and Jason Demers. Come on, guys, let's go here on Dominic Hasek. Big second period, let's go. 2-1 still. Okay, oh man, we cannot beat the Dominator. Oh, damn, Boyle does, and Victor Rask. Boom, boom, there you go. Get out of here, Dominic Hasek. Arguably the best goal of, of all time. Uh, Thomas Vanek uh, ties the game up at 3x Vancouver Canuck GM mode legend with Sean Monahan gets a goal with 7 minutes left. No, no. You know you can beat Hasek. You did it twice within like a minute there. Come on, you can do it. Oh my god. Barrio gets... Gets the icing on the cake for them. Man, that was a wild third period. We really needed the... 
we really needed those points and that is super disappointing so that sucks but I think we're gonna be okay which is win as many games we possibly can 36 25 and 9 every point matters imagine that this is the last game of the regular season win or you're out you got to win every single game come on guys 5-3 there you go we can beat every single Western Conference opponent but when it comes to the East we just shit the bed I don't know what's going on there another huge game here against Tavares and the Pittsburgh Penguins eight to five holy crap we put some pucks in the net there I want to see uh, it should probably say here it should be like uh, amazing performance by this person and an 8-5 win no fans that was not an error Zach Parise did record five points and Kovalchuk also had five points so that is pretty impressive we're playing some pretty good hockey here obviously I believe we're going to be a playoff team but anything can happen uh, the Metro is really close but I think we pulled ourselves away here in the last couple of games and we are fourth so it's still pretty close I mean the Rangers are right on our ass wow what a tight race here I I mean, look how close it is. We're, I mean, look how close this is in the Metro right now. Oh, my God. We're pretty much tied for fifth. Well, I guess tied for fourth, whatever way you want to look at it. But this is arguably the biggest game of the year up against the New Jersey Devils. Come on. Big victory here, guys. You can do it. Yes, huge, huge victory. Okay, those are big points right there. Massive points. See, that boost is all the way up to second place. Like, that's how important these, these games are right now, uh, especially the next uh, upcoming two games after this St. Louis game. Uh, we got two Metropolitan opponents, which would be the Columbus Blue Jackets, and that was another victory. Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets and the Philadelphia Flyers. So there you go. Getting those points. We're definitely a playoff team for sure. I have uh, no concerns within our I have no concerns right now, even though we just did lose, but I have no concerns. We're, uh, we're pretty, yeah, we're definitely in. We're definitely in 100%. So everything else here is just gravy. I'd like to get as many wins as possible. Let's try to go for that, uh, let's try to go for that home ice advantage in the postseason. That would be nice. Up against the Avs and we lose. Come on, guys. You're pretty much in the playoffs now. Don't shit the bed. Don't shit the bed. Up against Lemieux. Come on. Shut him down. Shut the big, shut Super Mario down. You can do it. You can do it. One nothing don't shit the bed now Kovalchuk 36 goals Malkin 51 helpers there you go the Russians are coming to play first period up against the Islanders one nothing Eric Stahl oh no period number two two to two Malkin gets two goals and Garbos the legends are oh Valerie Nachuskin there you go this guy is such a beast he is such a monster man oh shit Tyler Myers comes right back the Islanders we can do it come on come on come on squeak it out overtime and Mark Messier I was not gonna talk about the legends I wasn't gonna say anything that guy's got an ego account but of course of course there he comes and he ruins the party we do get the pity point though and where are we um yeah, we're number three. We're pretty much a playoff team. Look how far New Jersey fell from being like first place. So I mean, anything can happen. They're they're now fifth place. Um, I I really hope that we're gonna make a playoff. I really hope that we're actually gonna be in the playoffs here because we've been losing a few games. Uh, but 43, but 42, 29, and 10. Uh, we're currently fifth. So, yeah, see, we dropped all that way. See, that's scary. That's scary. Look how close that race is. That is ridiculous. Like. Oh shit, we might be in danger of missing the postseason here. Hold on. Hold on. We have one game left. Oh boy. Okay. Let's check where we are standings wise. We may have already clinched, but I don't think we have. Yeah. So, I mean, it's pretty much a race between. Oh shit. Okay. We have to win this game. We have to win this game. No questions about it. I think the last spot is us, pretty much. Everyone's clinched except for Pittsburgh and except for Washington. So you can see here in the Metro, only two teams have clinched with one game remaining. So I'm, uh, I think we're obviously we're going to make it, but hopefully we can just uh, solidify ourselves here, maybe jump up because it's so close we can get the home ice advantage with the victory here against St. Louis. 1-1, one, one, Milan Mahalik and Nino Niederreiter, period number two. Two to one, Nathan Gerby. Man, what a shitty end into the year. Actually had a pretty decent run, but Victor Rask gets a big goal there. He's been pretty clutch all year. Alex Galchenyuk, there you go. The Russian-American hybrid. Oh my god, Al McInnes. He does not want to let the points go away, and he gets two. 
we get, he gets the overtime winner and the game tying goal, and we let another point slip away from us. Oh boy. Okay, so we ended off the year 42, 29, and 11. So that was such a close race. Like, I don't know what's going to happen in the Metro, but I'm pretty sure we're in. Hopefully, I mean, I hope we didn't have to win that game to get in. Uh, let's see here how we're going to. We didn't make the playoffs. We didn't make the playoffs? Hold on. You're kidding me. This is, a, you, this is a joke. Yeah, Pittsburgh won their game, and we got the overtime loss. Oh, my God. I didn't think it was going to be that close. Holy shit. We missed the playoffs. We missed the fucking playoffs by one point. Not even. We're tied with them for points, but they must have got the victory. I said, we lost in overtime. Al McKinnis, you bastard. I, I didn't even. What? No, this is <laughs> I was looking at the Metro and I was thinking like why have only two teams clinched but it was literally that close Oh my god, we needed to win that game Holy crap Okay, wow Al McKinnis ruined it for us Wow, 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 wow. We miss the playoffs, okay? I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked. We had such a shitty end. If we would have won any of these games, we would have made the fucking playoffs. We won't, We lost one, two, three, four, five, six in a row. And after we just destroyed Pittsburgh, eight to five, two, one, three, two, two, one, two, one, we shit the bed. Wow. I I knew it was. I knew we were on a little bit of a streak, but I didn't think we were in jeopardy of missing the playoffs. Holy crap! What a what a disaster. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, so, I'm honestly lost for words at this point, um, wow, okay, Al McInnes, that's, uh, why you gotta do me like that, man, okay, we absolutely, we actually missed the playoffs, I, I didn't think that it was, uh, I didn't think it was gonna be possible for us to, to choke up like that, but, it happened, I didn't even realize, like, I, I knew we were doing bad, that's not, like, that was no, that was no surprise, but, a few of them were overtime losses, and I just, I thought we were going to make it, but we lost, to, I think that was the reason. We lost to Pittsburgh, and then the Pittsburgh had the last game that we also had as well. We lost it in overtime, and they must have got a regulation win, and wow, I feel stupid, but I kind of, I guess I got too cocky, because we we're, we're playing so well here, right? We're playing so well, and I was like, yeah, we're definitely in, let's just get the rest of the games done, then lost, 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 I'm like, oh shit, what the hell? I was an overtime loss loss, loss, and then an overtime loss, so there's no excuses for that, absolutely embarrassing, holy shit, we lose the, okay, you know what, I'm gonna go to the end of the year here, we're going to, uh, I, uh, I really don't know what else to say, wow, lot, we fucking missed the playoffs, holy crap, and would you look at that, the Vancouver Canucks win the Stanley Cup in year number one, I just, I, I still can't get over that we lost by one point, I took it for granted how close it was, I didn't think that, I didn't think there was going to be that much, uh, that much of a window for us to shit the bed, but we lost our last like six games, I mean, I guess I kind of took it for granted because we were, we we're doing so well, and then we started to lose, and I just have no excuses, man, what a disaster, uh, we're gonna have to, I mean, it was wasn't even like we were there. We're just, we're so close. I just don't know what to say at this point. But what I'm gonna do here is um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go cry for 30 years. What the fuck? How did that even happen? Oh my god. Okay, so I want to look at the draft picks here. I uh, want to have a look at the year. I want to want to do all that stuff. So we didn't get a, we didn't really get a chance to have a look at how everyone did throughout the year because I was just so upset. What the f how do we miss the fucking playoffs? Jesus. Okay, so point-wise, Gino Malkin was a pointy game player, Parise 78 and Kovachuk 73. He did have 36 goals though. Nachuskin 61 points. That's awesome at a boy. Uh 84 games played cuz he obviously had the two extra games played with the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, but 61 points. That's a hell of a year for Valerie Nachuskin. PK Subban 54, that's great. Uh, honestly, I'm just upset right now. You can probably tell by my voice. Like, I'm just not happy. Uh, Alex Galchenyuk, now an 88 overall, 54 points. That is a career high for the 22-year-old American-Russian hybrid. Uh, there he is. Kyle Palmieri had a great year, 52 points. That's awesome. He is in a contract year, so he's definitely getting paid this summer. Uh, Jared Spurgeon had 45 points. That's excellent. What a year for him. Sidlicki had 39. He's now up to an 84. 
84. He was an 83 earlier on. Victor Rask, 18 goals. Uh, Dustin Bufflin, 10 goals, uh, 29 points. Uh, did he not... Hold on. Did he have 9 goals and 19 assists before? Did he only have 1 goal in the last, like... 15 games or something. I think that was the case. I'll have to go back and watch the footage, but that's really not that great for uh, big Dustin Bufflin. Uh, Dan Boyle, 26 points. Can someone let me know how many points he had previous to coming over to uh, the Washington Capitals? Someone let me know. Uh, Milan, Milan Mahalik, 19. There you go. There you go. I just, I can't believe that we, I just, I just can't believe it, man. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Goaltending, uh, Devin Dubnik. Honestly, I don't think Devin Dubnik is going to be the answer. I think I think with our first round pick this year, we are going to go ahead and draft a goalie. Uh, Andy Branton went 9-6. and six. So have a look at the entire NHL, and then we'll get into all that other stuff. Uh, rookie skaters, that was just for the playoffs, so we can't even see the rookies. But as for all skaters, Crosby had 110 points. The first rookie I see is Timu Solani, 103 points on him. A plus 50, my god. Gretzky had 100, Datsuk, Stamkos, Kane, uh, Steve Eiserman, 93 points. So, so definitely scoring is up in the NHL. NHL, you can quickly see here how many players with 80 plus points like uh, all, we've had 22 players this year with 80 or more points that's very very impressive uh, let's have a look at uh, the defenseman who was the leading scorer uh, gonna be Nick Lidstrom with 82 points 30 goals on Nick Lidstrom wow okay more offensive than he was in real life but 52 helpers plus 21 that is a Norris Trophy winning year if I ever saw one Bobby Orr right there Al McKinnis with 29 goals goals Carlson Keith like right now Carlson is not the best defenseman in the NHL like you got to look at Nick Lidstrom and Bobby Orr and Al McKinnis those guys have all taken the throne that's really cool to see actually as for the goaltenders uh where are they goaltenders um who led the way Dominic Hasek 35 and 17 Bobrovsky 35 and 17 as well and then Trechiak went 35 and 19 so I mean Dubnik had a decent year don't get me wrong but I just I don't know if it was Dubnik's fault or we just had a really just a collapse. We just collapsed, man. The Washington collapsals. That doesn't make any sense at all. But we collapsed. We collapsed and that is just, that's just not acceptable. Not acceptable whatsoever. Pekka, Rene, Jonathan Quick. Uh, the Stanley Cup winning Jonathan Quick. Uh, I'll have a look here at the Vancouver Canucks uh, just to see who they had on their team. I don't really remember. Uh, but they did win the Stanley Cup. So who is their legend? Yeah, Sergei Fedorov was their legend and... Uh, uh, there you go. You can see Alex Killorn, the Vancouver Canucks legend, gets another Stanley Cup. And uh, obviously they had Jonathan Quick in net. So a very, uh, very strange year, obviously. Um, I just, I'm still blown away. I'm still just lost right now. Uh, Vancouver wins the Stanley Cup. That makes me happy. Uh, Presidents went to uh, went to Calgary. Um, Prince of Wales. So, the team that just squeaked ahead of us went to the Stanley Cup Finals. That is just depressing. Art Ross went to Crosby. The Hart went to Timu. Nick Lidstrom won the James Norris. No surprise there. Lady Bing went to Wayne Gretzky. Max Domi won the Calder. Con Smythe went to Quick. Vesna went to Hasek. Uh, uh, yeah, we didn't even win anything. Not even one trophy. Okay, well, that's going to have to change for next year. Let me tell you that much. Um, maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention to the standings because I knew it was close, but I think once we lost this game, I was like, oh, shit, we could be in real trouble here. But I didn't think it would actually happen, and it did. So that sucks. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check out the, uh, the Prospects game, all the good stuff, see if there's any standout players we might have to go after. Uh, Jake Bean, there he is, the legend. Uh, who else we got here? Tyler Benson's available. Uh, this guy, 72 overall. Um, nothing else. Jacob Chicharin there. Tim Gettinger, the ex Vancouver Canuck legend. We got Matthew Kachuk there. Uh, anyone else? No one else, really. But I do want to pick up a goalie. Maybe use our first round pick for a goaltender. We may have to do that. Check out the scouting report here. Uh, obviously, I think it's going to be Austin awesome. Matthews going to be up there. Matthew Kachuk. Austin Matthews, Logan Brown. So Matthew Kachuk would be really nice, but we're looking for either a goaltender or a, uh, we don't need a centerman, that's for sure. We have Malkin and we have Galchenyuk. A uh, winger we could probably pick up with like our second over, with like our second round pick, but a goaltender is definitely the one thing that I want. There's a couple first 
rounders, Carter Hart. Uh, what else we got here? Trevor Martin, uh, T. Martin. Uh, we got uh, Ryan Parento. Uh, there's a couple of, definitely a couple of players. So I would like to get either one of these first rounders with our first round pick. I like to get a goalie, that's for sure. But um, I don't think we're going to be able to pick in the top five. But I do want to pick up a goalie in our first round selection. So that's it. I wish that I had more to say or I wish we I had some playoff videos for you. But how embarrassing is that? I can't believe it. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. That's not going to happen ever again. We can't be that close and not make the playoffs. That is unacceptable.